Chris, I just hope Chris is all right. Not good. Don't just stand there. We need to look for clues. Sheila's bodyguard. His neck's broken. No wounds. So that's not his blood. Triss enters, breaks the guard's neck, then wounds herself? That's stupid. A lot of blood. Too much. What a mess. Somebody had a good time in here. Trashed everything. I don't get it. Someone else had to be here. Dandelion, look. What is it? A peephole. Someone might have been spying. The brothel's behind that wall. Maybe the madam saw what happened. Let's go. Come back later. We're closed. They've killed one of my girls. It's Deride, Geralt. That was her room. What happened? They murdered her. Yesterday, they loved her, drank wine with her, told her she's pretty. Today, five of them came, drunk on blood, screaming filth. She had a client at the time? No. She was with me. What are you looking at? I was consoling her. I was hoping you knew what happened in the next room. I noticed a peephole, but if you were busy... We were, until we heard voices beyond the wall. Schiller normally cast spells that blocked both sight and sound, but there was nothing like that this time. We started peeping. Me first. I saw that redhead, Triss Merigold, and Cedric, our drunkard ex-squirrel. The redhead approached the magic mirror and said, let's see who our ice queen's been talking to recently. She meant Sheila. Even I figured that out. She waved her hands, shouted an incantation, and a man appeared in the room, mighty ugly. Darai was so scared, she squealed. When I finally got Darai out of the way, a different figure was in the room, a woman Triss called Philippa. Greetings, Philippa. Triss, you're looking nice. Why are you using Sheila's megascope? I can't believe she approved it. That's like using her toothbrush. Sheila's oblivious to it. I heard you left Redania. I intend to stop Edern from falling apart. There's a popular uprising here, a real fight for freedom. You'd like it. I doubt it. It had started before Demoven's death. The rebels are led by a girl, both beautiful and smart. She's achieved the impossible. Humans and non-humans, nobles, burghers and peasants, marching side by side towards a new beginning. They gave the royalists a heavy thrashing. Now they're the only armed force in Edurn. What happened to Demoven's son, Prince Stannis? He's joined the rebellion and makes a virtue of necessity. He pretends to like the idea of equality and justice. What's your intention? To stop Henselt of Kedwin conquering Upper Edurn. Our bellicose king would become too powerful. Do you think the girl... Saskia the Dragon Slayer? Legend has it she killed a dragon. Can she oppose Henselt's might? It won't be easy, but she's already accomplished miracles. So war is inevitable. Henselt can't be reasoned with. What did Sheila want from you? Isn't it obvious? Two northern rulers have perished. We've been thinking on these developments. Temeria is in chaos and I lost my position. There goes the effort we put into building peace. What's your intention? 
What has the Lodge decided? I mean, it was created to protect the interests of magic. We'll adjust to the new order and make use of this situation. Five years of my work wasted? The peace of Sintra hangs by a thread and Temeria will plunge into civil war any day now. There's nothing to use. We need to find those responsible and dispense justice. Calm down. Two things should be partaken cold. Sorrel soup and politics. Calculate and don't let your emotions lead you. We can't resurrect Foltest, so stop playing the Avenger. We'll proceed wisely and deliberately. We'll use the situation, understand? At least help me clear the Witcher's name. Triss, stop thinking with your vagina and get a hold of yourself. The Witcher will manage. Why did Sheila come to Flotsam? It's a delicate matter. We need someone at Henselt's court, but he hates sorceresses. I know. Henselt's only son died in a hunting accident three years ago. The king has failed to sire more offspring, in spite of trying incessantly. Sheila claims she can heal the king's faulty apparatus, but needs very rare ingredients. Which she intends to harvest from the Cairn. Exactly. This way a sorceress will have the king's ear again. That's all I know, really. Dandelion, any idea who Philippa is? Philippa Eilhart, sorceress counselor to King Radovid of Redania. A grand mistress of the world's most fetid cuisine. Politics. She's amoral in a crystalline way, so devoid of conscience that she's a phenomenon. Rumor is she's out of favor at the Redanian court, which if true, she probably arranged herself in order to leave the capital. What happened to Triss? I don't know. I already told you about the only conversation I heard, just before those murderers came. They kicked me and stabbed her eye. But I heard fighting from the other room. The sorceress was screaming. When the murderers left, searching for other victims, I peered outside, thought I saw Cedric sneaking through the alleys towards the forest. He was staggering. Thank you, Margot. I owe you. Witcher, wait. Give this to Yarveth. A letter? The names of Darai's killers. He'll understand. You're spying for Yorveth? I help him from time to time. Just give him the letter. I'll try, but I can't promise anything. Dandelion, wait here for me. I'm going to find Cedric. Cedric's blood. I just need to follow it. <laughs> 